Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another edition of MJ Every Day. Gonna talk to you guys today about training frequency. I've been getting a lot of questions about training frequency since the first episode of MJ Every Day where I discussed the difference between direct and indirect training of muscle groups. So training frequency, for those of you who are not aware, is how many times a week you train, whether it be direct or indirect training, a particular muscle group. So a lot of the questions I've been getting is, you know, what is the, the optimal training frequency? How many times a week should I train a particular muscle group directly or indirectly? There's two ways to answer this question, guys. There's the scientific answer based on, based on science, and then there's the real life answer, which kind of takes science into account, but then takes real life into account as well. So the scientific answer is protein synthesis for a particular muscle group will stay elevated after training that particular muscle group, whether it be direct or indirect, after stimulating a particular muscle group for 72 hours. So based on the science, you should be training directly or indirectly, doing something to stimulate that protein synthesis for each and every muscle group once every three days. That's the scientific answer. The real life answer takes that into account, but then also has to take into account your lifestyle, your routine, how many times you're actually able to get to the gym every week and train train whatever it is that you're training. It takes into account the wear and tear on your joints, your ligaments, all of the supporting structures that support, uh, that support skeletal muscle that aren't really looked at in the science, so to speak. And it also takes into account the, the toll that high intensity training and, and uh, in particular lifting weights takes on your central nervous system and how much high intensity training you're able to sustain without it starting to have a negative effect on your central nervous system and God forbid causing you to overtrain uh, for lack of a better term. So <clears throat> there's really two ways to kind of answer this, this question and Effectively, what I say to people is train as frequently as you can train. Obviously, no more than one well, each muscle group every 72 hours because the science shows that you don't need to, but as frequently as you can train in terms of what's going to fit into your lifestyle, what's going to fit into your routine, how much, how frequently can you train while remaining injury free, how frequently can you train while still sustaining very high intensity style training so your central nervous system isn't feeling run down all the time. So effectively, figure out what works for you. Try increasing training frequency. See what effect it has on joints and ligaments and central nervous system. See if you can fit it into your schedule. Uh, you know, effectively train as frequently as you can train. For me personally, what I have found and I've tried all different types of training frequency. I've tried training each muscle group twice a week, some muscle groups three times a week, uh, a mus each muscle group once a week. And what I found to work best for me personally is training each muscle group directly once per week and then picking a particular muscle group which usually is going to be a lagging muscle group at the moment for me it's my chest and I'll train that directly two times a week and I found that for me personally that allows me to stay injury free it allows me to train at a high intensity during each and every one of my workouts and allows me to stimulate enough protein synthesis to actually make some pretty decent gains guys that's a wrap for this episode of MJ every day as always don't forget to hit the subscribe button turn your post notifications on so you don't miss a beat when it comes to the Massive Joe's YouTube channel and I'll catch you guys tomorrow for another installment of MJ every day until then I'm coming to you from massivejoes.com stay massive